Hey everybody, 3Rev here, and today I'm going to show you how to get the most out of your Roland MX One's coaxial digital input. Now, if you have a Roland MX One, you know that the coaxial digital input occupies channels seven and eight, and they're stereo channels, and they're used to hook up things like a CDJ. Now, I don't have a CDJ, so the thought of having an input that I can't use doesn't sit well. So while I was on the Roland IRF Facebook forum, someone mentioned I could get an analog to digital interface like this. So I picked it up off Amazon. This one costs around 40 bucks, and it arrived pretty quick. Here's the unit itself. It has RCA inputs, and you'll notice it also uses a wall wart because we need more wall warts. It has the SPDIF input on the back as well as a toss link cable. And it has over here uh, 48 kilohertz and 192 kilohertz sampling input switch. Now we're going to leave it at 48 kilohertz because that's what we need to set the roll into. You'll also need a uh, nice uh, RCA cable to uh, hook up that. And here, here it is right here. Um, this RCA cable I have is a video input cable. It's a nice heavy braided. No, it's not gold plated or oxygen free or whatever bullshit that is. Um, but it does work. You could probably use any RCA cable, but that's the one I have. And that's the one I'm going to go with. So we're going to switch over to camera two because there's a little setup work we have to do on the MX1 so it'll see this device. As you can see, I've taken the liberty of connecting the interface directly to the MX-1. We have the output of the interface going into the SPDIF input of the MX-1 here. We have the RCA to quarter inch cables going into the Novation circuit. And we, of course, have power to the interface. Pull that out and you can see that the interface is active. Don't look into the laser, folks, right? And now we have to set up the MX-1 to work with the interface. So we're going to do that by holding down the gain key here on the left hand side and flipping on the power to the MX1. And once it's on, go to the beat effects key, touch that, and you'll see that it's set to 96. Flip that to 48 and hit the start stop button. And it's ready. Let's get the circuit on. Let's see if it works. And as you can see, the circuit is jamming away on channel 7 and 8 of the digital inputs. Beat effects work. Scatter effects work. And of course, you can bring in the rest of the mix as you like. And that is how you get to use the extra inputs on your Roland MX-1. I hope you enjoyed this video and we will watch other videos that I make. Keep jamming.